Virginia Cobia Farms is really a partnership between unique technology that's produced by our company, Marical, and commercial aquaculture production and know-how and experience that's supplied by Blue Ridge Aquaculture. Virginia Cobia Farms uh, technology is based on 10 years of innovation effort and has really been focused on, a, on a, an apparently simple question. And the simple question is, why do some fish, <clears throat> like catfish or perch, grow only in fresh water, while others, like tuna or cobia or flounder or codfish, grow only in seawater? <clears throat> Moreover, why do fish like salmon have the ability to move back and forth between freshwater and seawater? And so what we discovered, Marical has discovered the answer to that question. And it involves the fact that all fish have inside their bodies particular molecular sensors, like very tiny thermostats, that allows them to sense whether they're in freshwater or in seawater. This is similar to our own bodies. We have our own molecular sensors, for instance, for temperature. So what Marical has learned is to how to regulate these molecular uh, thermostats so that we can essentially reset them or acclimate them. And we do that by simple changes in the ratios or concentrations of salts and nutrients that are added to the feed and the uh, water of fish. <clears throat> it's important for me to emphasize to you at this point, at this point that our, techn our technology doesn't involve any genetic engineering. It doesn't involve any drugs. There's no special chemicals, and there's no hormones used at all. All of the ingredients that we use are natural, and they're particularly abundant here in Saltville, and that's what has uh, attracted us to this area. Fish um, don't suffer as a result of, of our process. They are not undergoing stress. Instead, the, the process is much like acclimation that, uh, to the surrounding environment that all living things, including uh, us humans, uh, undergo. So for instance, we acclimate to the heat of Virginia on a July day or the cold of the Maine winters that we're used to uh, up in uh, January or February in Maine. There are other uh, examples of acclimation to differences in the amount of physical activity or uh, dietary changes. So in essence, the key technology for Virginia cobia farms is that we can grow cobia, a picture of which is um, on our logo, that's normally restricted to salt water. We can grow that at very low water salinities. In other words, in uh, salt concentrations that are a little above that of fresh water. I also want to note here that in order to do this uh, aquaculture effort, there are important contributions that have been made to um, this effort by Virginia Tech as a, as a university. There are specific faculty members uh, that have made these contributions to the biology of cobia and how they work. Those people are Dr. Brendan Delbos, Mike Schwartz, Steve Craig, and Ewan McLean that are, are here in the audience today. Moreover, I also want to mention Dr. George Flick, the university uh, distinguished professor, for his contributions in the area of seafood processing that will be important in our, um, in our overall business plan. So why is growing cobia in Saltville important? Um, America and the world, as, um, as was previously mentioned, is consuming more and more seafood, yet the wild supply of seafood is remain, remain stable or is actually declining. Growing marine fish in coastal areas in far parts of uh, the world has a limited number of, um, has a limited, uh, but some limited aspects of problems associated with it. Those problems are the high cost of building these facilities, the transport, and their exposure to very uh, problematic issues like hurricanes, as an example. So, um, moreover, once you've grown these fish in the ocean, you still have to transport them to inland areas of the United States, like Chicago or St. Louis, and this involves very, very high transport costs. In this regard, I'd like to, I'd like to note that, uh, that just uh, actually today, there is a series of reports in by the Harvard uh, Medical School of Public Health, as well as the Institute of Medicine in Washington, that uh, now have reported a number of different, verified a number of benefits for eating seafood uh, for both um, people who are uh, at risk for cardiovascular disease and even children. So they recommend specific um, uh, changes in the dietary regimens that include uh, more seafood 
for uh, the members of, of uh, the United States. So for its part, what are we going to do? Um, Virginia Cobia Farms, what we're uh, planning to do is grow high value, fast growing, and good um, tasting cobia, this marine fish right here in Saltville, using the combination of Marical's technology and Blue Ridge Aquaculture's know-how to be able to, to do this. Together, we intend to grow millions of pounds of fresh fish for the United States consumers. And our goal is, is that the fish will be fresh, natural, free of contaminants, and that are not, that are, uh, not gonna be in our fish, but are also, that are often present in wild fish, or fish that are caught in the ocean. Importantly, we're going to grow them here in Saltville by, uh, and the growth is gonna occur by Virginia workers, um, who will be um, the major part of our company. We're planning to expand the Virginia cobia farms in three phases. What the first phase, of which you've, you see here, we've been in this building for about 17 days, uh, will provide the foundation of a much larger effort uh, with buildings and equipment that'll grow over the next three years. And so as CEO and co-founder of Marical, I look forward to working with the town of Saltville, the people of Southwest Virginia, and the faculty of the Virginia Tech University to grow and expand our business. I want to close by introducing my uh, business partner, Mr. Bill Martin of Blue Ridge Aquaculture. Bill's facilities in Martinsville uh, are truly a model of what we're planning for Saltville. His facility ships over 70,000 pounds of uh, the highest quality tilapia through, uh, to be delivered throughout the United States and Canada. And as some, as, you, as some of you may know, he's also a constant innovator, and he soon will be adding to this large production capacity the capacity to grow shrimp as well. So again, on, on behalf of Marical, thank you very much for uh, coming.